Okay, so now we're going to get into, this is one of those processes, skull tapping, and it's with the thinking cap, which is one of the branching 26 activities. So I'm going to show you what this process looks like. And then I'm going to take you through the process. If you have glasses, you're going to want to take your glasses off, but not yet. Wait till, wait till it's time so you can see. So skull tapping is a process where you're going to tap back and forth. It's going to be tapping from one side to the other. So I'm going to take you through the pattern first, and then I'm going to take you through the tapping of the pattern. So the pattern goes like this. You always start at temple, and then you go to center of the forehead. Every time you go back, you follow the exact, you follow that route right back again to temple. So you start back at temple, and you're going to go to the center forehead and up to the crown of the head. And then you're going to follow that route back down to temple. And then you're going to go under the eyes and back to temple. And then you're going to go to the temporal mandibular joint. Does anybody have TMJ issues? Okay, when you're doing this, make sure that you're resting the tongue on the roof of your mouth so you're stabilizing your jaw. It's not that intensive, it's not a whole rubbing, so you probably won't have, a, it's not a huge concern, but if you're real highly sensitive, that stabilizes your jaw to have your tongue resting on the roof of your mouth. So to TMJ and back, and then we're going to go back down to TMJ and across to the upper lip and back to temple, and then we're going to go down TMJ again and then all the way down to the chin, and then back up to temple, and then we're gonna go around the back of the head, and you're gonna get to that. That number seven is that soft tissue right here. It's just below the base of the skull on either side of, the, um, of your spinal column. That is your occipital area that has to do with vision. Your occipital lobes are behind that. And then you're going to go back to temple. And then the last part is part of skull tapping, but it's actually its own activity, and it's called the thinking tap. And what you're going to do is you're going to massage your ears starting from the top, and it's almost like the lengthening them and unrolling them. So it's a nice, deep massage from top of the ear all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to take you through the pattern. Actually, before I do that, what I'd like you to do is to notice so you can get a little bit of a sense of before and after. So um, part of this is about, you may notice, a shift in vision. So I'd like you to check in and notice how you're seeing right now. And because of the before, you may not notice much. You may notice more in the after. But notice what vision is like for you right now. So you may want to make a marker, like what it looks like to look at the board, or to look at me, or to look at me in relationship to the board. Um, and then I'd like you to turn your head to one side and notice what your range of motion is. So you're going to turn to one side. And while you're there, you're noticing your range of motion. Notice how far you can see behind you. So that's your peripheral vision. And notice what your hearing is like. And then I'd like you to turn all the way to the other side. Notice what your range of motion is. Notice how far back to the periphery you can see. And notice what you're hearing. Okay. So the pattern goes like this. So if you have glasses, you can take them off now. I'm going to walk you through. 